Today, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. At the other day, I talked to my friend about going on a trail ride and we settled on a date. It's next week, late next week, next Thursday. I'm excited. I have so many days to get Penny trail ready or do the best I can. I have it all planned out in my mind. I took her on the road yesterday and, and I'm gonna do some trailer loading practices and then I'm gonna ride her on the road again. And I rode her by herself without any ponies. So many plans. So then I talked to my friend today and then she told me that it's actually tomorrow. Somehow it got messed up in her head and it's tomorrow. No, I'm doing this. I take them out in the morning. You guys bring them in in the afternoon. I do three horses. You guys do, do this. Because I wanted to film. You thought I was getting my own horse. Anyways, so today, we are doing trailer training, not trailer training, but I'm making sure she'll go on the trailer. Better to late than never. You know we could do better. So take a chance and run with me. Everywhere we go, we we'll turn to paradise. All I know is that I need you in my life. Let me show So today we are working on trailer training. The one thing is is that the lady's trailer doesn't have the ramp like our trailer has, but Penny apparently is an expert loader on a trailer, on a step-up trailer. So, tomorrow and I, Penny Pickle, are going on a trail ride. I'm just going and walking. And she said, that's fine. Like, I'm jumping my horse next week. Or, I'm jumping my horse on Friday. Why can't we go for, like, a nice little walk? And I'm like, good. <laughs> It's either going to be that or you chasing behind me to catch up while my horse tries to run me back to my own barn. And we're not even going to be close to our barn. So anyways, tomorrow's the day. Actually, while you guys are watching this video, I am going to be on a treacherous trail with the one and only Penny Pickle. If you want to come but you want to ride. Well, Gabby, you should come, but that's the thing. I don't want Gabby to ride. I sound like a mean mom. I sound like a mean mom, but the problem is this. Gabby likes to ride, and nothing changes her mind about that. Like, the reason I want to go with my friend is because I know my friend will be like, just go slow with me. My friend used to be me, and she's worked through all that, and so she's the perfect person to go with me. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> I don't think she fully understands. <laughs> but anyways, Gabby, on the other hand, is not a good person to trail ride with unless you like fast and furious, but we definitely want to go on some trail rides. We're just waiting for our truck to be finished. It's at the dealership. It got shipped from the fix-it place to the dealership because they had to do a whole, like it's a big expensive job. Our engine caught on fire if you're just tuning in. could go wrong are running through my mind like oh man I know Penny doesn't like other horses that she doesn't know like that's a soft spot for her and I know that when she gets scared she runs so those that's a soft spot for me <laughs> but you know what this is my dream for me and Penny this is this is what I want Penny and I to do like and I don't want it to be I don't want to trail ride the first few times with my kids. In fact, I never want to trail ride with Gabby. Trail riding is like the dream for me. And obstacles and Sophie loves that stuff too. I could see Sophie and I going on that journey together. But Gabby likes to, Gabby and Kaylee like to do stuff. Like they don't have the patience for someone that rides like me. And as Sophie, I feel like she does. She just has the fear. But my friend, so it's my friends you guys it's my friends I have a couple of friends that are gonna trail ride with me only one is going this time because she only has a two horse trailer and she can't pick up the other lady's horse 
otherwise it would be the three of us and that would be fantastic but for this ride it's gonna be me and Penny and we're gonna do it but before we can do it like, I'm brave as heck you guys do not know you do not know how brave I actually am like I am brave as heck like I will just try anything I'll just try it. Like, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I'll go back to the drawing board and I never give up, guys. We all have things that we're really good at and things that we're not. And I have a lot of things I'm not good at. But I am brave as heck and I will never give up. And, yeah. All I want to say is pray for us because while you're watching this video, while you're actually watching this video, I'm out on a trail ride. Like, I just can't believe it. But I'm excited and I think the fact that we got our dates mixed up is a good thing because now I don't have to like, I don't have like a whole week to prepare and stew and think about it and think about how it could go wrong. I have one day to figure it all out and I'm excited. But before I work with Penny, I wanted to clear a couple things up or I wanted to say a couple things before I forget because that's the kind of brain I have. I have the forgetting brain and that is probably why I never give up because I forget so well. <laughs> Anyways, um, number one, somebody asked, could we do some 24 hour challenges with the grandkids? Yeah, so that's happening. You comment below what 24 hour videos you guys wanna see. Like, what do you guys wanna see 24 hours what? What do you wanna see? I'm running out of ideas for 24 hour videos. Also, the tw second thing I wanted to tell you guys was, we got the rest of our hay in, but that's not it. The second thing I wanted to tell you guys <laughs> was, is nap time. They come in and assume the position. <laughs> That just makes me laugh. This is where they stand. They let the, the wind blow through their hair and they cool themselves down. Second thing that I wanted to say was um, that I just finished editing Sophie's video, the one where Chance bolted on her, not once, but twice. I just finished editing it, so you guys haven't seen it yet. I'll post it tonight, but right now it's afternoon, so you guys haven't seen it yet, and I just finished editing it, and it like was such a good video for me to edit like it just made me so excited and so like i just loved seeing that video i know the saddle's not right we have four saddles i have actually four saddles to try one of them i think is going to be a bit too small for sophie so i probably won't try that one so i have at least three saddles to fit to try and i think for sure one of them is going to fit chance for sure just coordinating schedules right now and then i'm going to try them i'm so excited um, and I, I feel it in my bones that one of those is the right saddle. So there's that. But saddle fit, saddle fit aside, I see so much growth. Like I see Chance growing and changing and building muscle and, and spreading out a little. I see Sophie growing in confidence with him. I see him building a bond with her and kind of trusting her. But that moment when he spooked and she reacted and pulled him back and he started to calm down and then he went into his spook again and he just bolted and she pulled him right back down and then they cantered off. It just gave me goosebumps. It like gives me goosebumps right now even like <sighs> nobody knows what you're capable of. Only you know. And if you believe you can do something, then you should go out there and you should do it. You can't listen to everybody else. You can't listen to the voices inside your head. You can't listen to the voices of people that don't even know you. You can't listen to the people who want to hold you back. And sometimes people want to hold you back because they are worried for you like parents and they don't want you to, to get hurt. They don't want you to do something that they don't think you can do. And sometimes people want to hold you back because they think if you can do it and they're not doing it, then it means that they're not as good as you and, and, and people don't want to feel that. People, it's hard on the ego to, to see someone succeed at something that they're not able to succeed in or that they haven't succeeded in. There's so many reasons why people want to hold you back, but I just want to say you guys, like, Go out there and be your best self and, and challenge yourself and do what you think you can do because watching Sophie nail that spook two times and not even care. She just cantered around there with a smile on her face and I don't know, I don't know, I never can gauge videos like how people are gonna react to a video but I saw him have moments of greatness where he tucked his head a little tiny bit and he, and he rode like a regular horse. Like, 
And when he did that right after the uh, after the spook, where she said like get going, and he pecked his head just a little tiny bit, and he cantered away, and they didn't even break a sweat. They just cantered away like that. That moment made me so happy. And tomorrow she might get on and she might fall off, or tomorrow she might get on and she might not be as brave, or he might suffer from some kind of ailment or uh, who knows what tomorrow is going to bring but right now I want to just like live in that moment when she cantered him away and he tucked his head just a tiny little bit and he and they both went cantering away and that was just what what great moments are made of like it's those little tiny great moments that make up your journey not the bad things like nobody is defined by the bad things we're all defined by the greatness. And if you think back in your life to all the great parts in your story, every single great part of your story came from or started from some adversity, something that happened that wasn't gonna be good, and then it turned into the best parts of your story. So anyways, I just wanted to say that. I know you guys don't like to hear it all the time, but I wanted to say that because she inspires me and she makes me excited to get out there tomorrow and ride my horse. <laughs> and I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> it's okay to be nervous. Bravery is being scared and going out there and doing it anyways. And so I'm gonna. So I'm in the chicken coop and it is literally my favorite place to be. And I'm here all the time and I'm gonna go get my tea and I'm gonna sit out here and drink it. Whenever this little chicken sees me, she always comes running. You guys know we just got her and her little husband. Anyway, oh my gosh, the sweetest chicken. She just comes to me and says, like, yeah, she does that. Did you guys hear it? Anyway, so sweet. I love her. They're still being picked on a lot. I totally put a special spot in here. I put this big huge cage thing that I could lock her and him up at night so that they're not with the other ones because they get picked on a lot because they're still getting into the flock. But this little girl, she comes right out when she sees me. I have a spot where they have food and water they can hide during the day and the other chickens just slowly like will go in. And it's, it's, I hate that part of chickens, but look at how cute she is. Like honestly, I, I just, uh, she's 15 months and I love her to death. I just love her. Like she doesn't even try and get away from me. She's like, let's go eat grass, Laura. And I'm like, okay, let's do it, Millie. Uh -huh. <laughs> let's do it, Millie. Millie's your name. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? But there's been really bad news about the chicken. Oh, you be nice. That's a little rooster. He's going to a new home. He's just a mean boy. Yeah, he's mean. You're mean. Anyways, you guys know that Sophie's the one that does the chickens with me. Well, this is the cage thing that I put in here for those little chickens. You guys know Sophie does chickens with me. I'm hand feeding them right now because it's my favorite thing to do. Um, anyway, Sophie does chickens with me and she loves the silkies and the silkies are a dream of mine. Like, absolute dream of mine. So much so that I'd get rid of two chickens just to keep them. Like, I love them so much. Um, Sophie's allergic to them. Yeah. She's allergic to them, so it's like, she can't do anything with them. She can't share that dream with me. And you guys know, like, sharing a dream with someone makes it so much worth it. More worth it. And so much more fun. But, it's okay. I'll do Silkies all on my own. <laughs> she gets that allergy thing from her dad. Wanna be the person that you call up when you're down Wanna be the first who knows all of your deepest secrets Can I be the one who wakes you up before you miss your ride? Cause I wanna be close to you And I wanna show you something new You gotta know Every day I got your back, yeah you can count on me for that so put your hand in mine, I will be there every day When you're sick of the climb, I will make sure it's okay I you didn't ask for any of it But we reach for the sky, that's what flying colors now
Ready or not, we're going. Ready or not, you guys, we're going on a trail ride, Penny Pickle. You and me and a friend, not your ponies, and I hope you're happy about it, okay? To me, that was so impressive. I smashed my head on the trailer door, though, when I was going underneath it. Yeah, that's the kind of girl I am. I hurt, too. She was awesome. I'm so proud of her. Even if tomorrow is a bust and all we do is get off the trailer and then come home, to me, to di this was a success. This was a success, Penny Pickle. All right? It's weird, I feel it. Like, I feel she's gonna be stressed, but it's okay, because I can handle Penny Pickle stressed. Anyway, that is it for today's video. We'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow on our first trail ride of the season. Our second trail ride ever, really, with Penny Pickle. Don't you know that